Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Paradise Killer. Last time we left off, we met Crying Grudge, and what else did we do? We also met another character, I probably butchered the name, Didamont, Didamonte? Uh, I thought they were listed here. Huh, I thought they were listed in the population or whatever. But, uh, it doesn't seem like they are. But yeah, we, we found that character, they basically confessed, yeah, you, Dai Nonigate's dot knife, and I'm gonna get that name wrong so much. Dai Nonigate, Dai Nogate, I don't even remember what I said last time. But yeah, so we found out a bunch of stuff. And now I guess we're going to investigate some new things, so... One of the things that we found out, ooh, hello crystal hanging out over here, is that, uh, Carmelina has some secret pathways that allow her to get around the island pretty quickly. So, while we're right here by Yuri, you might as well talk to him. Sup, Yuri? We got some questions for you, sir. Uh. Alright, let's hang out. Got time to chat, Yuri? What is it? You look like the kind of person that likes wine. So pathetic. I do a refined drink. I am able to enjoy expensive wine. Better wine. Uh, Fortunate. You're fortunate. It helps that I have access to older wines. Always a sign of quality. Luxury. A nicely aged wine is luxury. I'm glad you Don't agree. Not everyone can appreciate wine. It isn't something for novices or the lower class. Nonsense. Nonsense. I don't- I don't think you know what you're talking about. The lower class are often jealous of those with more refined tastes. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. Wow, I really don't like you. You're an elitist as well. We've reached the fourth holy seal. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? You mean the holy seal that Henry got through and killed the council? Yes, that one. What are you talking about? Who cares? That monster killed them. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so you didn't really give us much to go on. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Buy more drinks. Okay. So, where do we want to go next? So, it was Montserrat's rooftop that allowed us to get to a couple of different areas. So, I imagine we want to go through each of those teleporters once, because they probably add a note. This one just went to Montserrat's rooftop, so it's not too terribly interesting. But, um... The other one might be a bit more so. The other ones, because I believe there's two more, three more? Alright, so we just came out of EU. So we want to go in... Let's save that one for last, actually. That one looks like it goes somewhere very special. Like this. this corridor isn't letting me through. It looks like it goes to a syndicate apartment, probably Carmelina's. That would explain how she accessed the corridors. The she can visit Dainon Gate's little lair anytime she needed to. This is so messed up. Okay. Where do you take me? Uh... This is the entrance to the council building. It takes seconds to get here from Dainingate's vault. A network of secret corridors across the island that contained a hidden killer. Did Carmelina set this plan up years ago? It was nearly a perfect plan. If Judge hadn't summoned me, she might have gotten away with it. She could still get away with it if I don't present the right evidence. This is a bizarre case. Hmm. Council building. The Palace of Carnage. So yeah. And here's... Yep. This whole scene. We still haven't finished investigating this fully, I believe. We investigated this. But maybe we should scrub the council building a bit more. And we've already investigated everything we can here, right? Yeah. We found out those weren't actually marshals. There were bodies that were planted there. Let's check out everything else that we can in here. See what else we can get from this location. So I don't think I explored every little nook and cranny of it. Because quite a few of characters have been like, explore everything you possibly can in the council building. Actually, no, maybe I did explore all this because there's the flowers. What are going up here, dude? We can't breach the second holy seal yet. Um, and it looks like we went up here. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We explored 
everything that we can explore in the council building, because we can't get through the second holy seal yet, so... Back through the corridor. In we go. Alright, so now we just want to investigate this. Got it. That corridor was different. It looks amateurish. This bypasses the seals. A conspiracy crafted from the fabric of the island. Did Carmelina's hidden killer commit the crime to end all crimes? Maybe Carmelina made those passages, but somebody else made this passage? I guess this is the fourth holy the seal. What's the here. deal? There's a data port. Starlight might find something. Uh. Data port OS, Syndicate OS, Black Planet version. Interfacing, handshaking, authenticating. Welcome to Syndicate OS Black Planet. To deactivate Fort Seal Holy Bar Barrier, please become godlike. Barrier? The barrier's freaking out. That's weird. Become godlike? Please present godliness to Bioscanner. Strange. It's checking to see if someone is biologically godlike. Error, 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 error. Fourth Holy Seal is non responsive. System has suffered a critical failure. Please reboot system. Leader Montserrat authorization required. The fourth holy seal is toast. Whatever happened last night did a number on it. Is here. People have been using crying judge's f grudge's flesh to pass through the barrier. But how did Henry get through the seal? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Hello, more of those. Pink petals. Just like the ones downstairs. Does this put Yuri at the scene? He wears a hat with pink petals. There are pink petals outside the murder scene. Yuri's wears pink flowers in his hat. This proves he was at the penthouse. This is a weird island and doesn't prove he went through the seals. This won't hold up in the trials without anything to back it up. Okay, we got a lot of bodies in here. Counselor Macon Origin. Cause of death is a slash across the throat. May the silent goat walk with you in all of the cosmic heavens. Everyone has been sliced up with a blade. The lacerations are all clean. They were done with a sharp, perfect blade. I don't like this. Yeah. Council Warl sliced the ribbons by a blade. The lacerations are clean. They were done with a perfect blade. Henry allegedly took a clean blade from Akiko during the escape. But we already found out that, like, Diamond Dot Day or whatever, he had a clean blade. They don't have any skin cells under their fingers. They were killed before they knew what was happening. The cuts matched the blade Henry was allegedly found with and took from Akiko. They could have been killed with the knife I found on Diamond Dot Day. The type of lacerations on the victims match his blade. Okay. There's Montserrat. Leader Montserrat. Cause of death is a sliced windpipe and artery. There's a gun lying next to him. There's a strange pendant around his neck. May the silent goat walk with you in all the cosmic heavens. You're not going to say anything about the strange pendant? Counselor Leon Disaster. Cause of death appears to be a blade taking off the front of his scalp, slicing through his brain. Ow! May the silent goat walk with you in all the cosmic heavens. Counselor Fine Stranger. Cause of death is nearly being decapitated by a laceration across his throat. May the silent goat walk with you. Okay. Pandora 2. Cause of death is a horizontal slash across the stomach which emptied her of her organs. May the silent goat... What in the world are you? I didn't expect to find a killer demon inside the council's penthouse. It's been shot in the head. The bullet is stuck in the skull. Demon shot in the head. Sure. There's a demon inside the penthouse has been shot in the head, has perfect knife-like claws that are covered in the blood of council members. The demon was shot in the head with a large caliber Fukata round by Montserrat. This demon was definitely involved in an attack on the council. It's a Fukata round, a high-powered bullet. There's a gun lying next to leader Montserrat. There are hellish claws on its arms, like knives. They're perfect as well. The claws are covered in blood. Starlight can run the blood. Sure. Several council members. The council were all killed with a perfect blade. This thing's claws could have done it. What hmm. the hell? What the hell is this thing doing here? Does this have anything to do with Henry? He let the demons onto the island. Sure. Hmm. Shinji is on the island, so the marshals definitely didn't catch them all. If the marshals missed Shinji, did they miss this, this killer demon too? Shinji is still on the island. When the demons came onto the island during Hiryu's possession, the marshals didn't catch them all. Somehow, another demon managed to stay on the island. This crate is bizarre. It looks like it was hidden in this chest. Did someone bring it here and hide it here as a trap? It looks as... It looks like the containment crate burst open, smashing open the chest. 
If you could get a killer demon in here and find a way to release it at the right time, it would make a hands-free murder weapon. There are a number of restraints inside. The inside is covered with claw marks. The restraints have sacred wards on them. Those are used to subjugate demons. Is this where the killer demon came from? The claw marks match. If the killer demon came from this crate, it didn't kill the marshals downstairs. If the killer demon got here via this containment crate, it means it didn't go through the holy seals. Someone brought it through the seals and left it here. Someone planted a trap. When the council were vulnerable, someone released a psycho killer demon to attack them. Were they assuming no one would get into the crime scene afterwards, though? The crate leaves a trail of evidence. The investigator is here. Did it matter, though? Is the presence of the killer demon enough to complete the plan? Or did they assume that the seals would never be opened again? They assumed I wouldn't be on the island investigating. Bad call. Starlight is detecting dead zone res residue from the crate. This crate must have come from the demonology bunker in the dead zone. There were more in there. Hmm, yeah. Sure. This crate has a remote receiver on the lock. Ooh. Someone could have remotely activated it to open it, but who? Well, Witness was messing with his phone when he was uh, in the room with Carmelina exactly at the time that they died. And he's the one that has the demonology bunker in the dead zone. Island population, dead killer demon. Alright. So... That's quite a big lore dump. We examine you, find stranger... Yeah, we talked about you. Okay, what about you? The helmets the council used to traverse the second seal. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Okay, we examined you. What about you? Counselor Lunatic Pope. Missing several fingers, which suggests he tried to defend himself from an attack with the blade. Cause of sleep is a deep horizontal cut, cut through its, his head. May the silent goat walk with you. Kafka Memory. Cause of death is a vertical laceration from his groin to rib cage. Most of his organs have spilled out. Ugh. That's rough. High Priestess and Counselor Gabriella Devotion. Cause of death is a deep laceration through the abdomen. May the silent goat walk with you. Hmm. So yeah, there's this chest here with this containment crate in it, and I guess those are the runes? Alright, well, there's one last thing to check, and that's, that's this. It. There's a strange blood spray here. It doesn't match any of the council members. The spray is from a bullet exiting the body. Don't test me. The bullet is lodged in the wall. It's a Fukuda round. There's a gun lying next to Leader sure. Montserrat. It's been fired twice. It's an old weapon that uses Fukuda rounds. The blood matches Dainongate's. He was here last night. Looks like Montserrat shot Dainongate, presumably in, so in defense. Maybe Dainongate busted in here and started slicing, but Montserrat got a shot off before it was over? Hmm. So there were two people that could potentially have been murderers in here. There's the demon, and there's also Dainongate, and then they claim that Henry somehow got in here. Interesting, this was quite a bit of dump. But of a uh, dump of information. Can I get into this somehow? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, well. Sure. Guess this is, yeah. I, I don't know why I went through this again. I was thinking maybe that we would get something new here, but no. Alright, well. Ooh, what is this? The blo this blood trail leads away from the council penthouse. Ooh. Whose blood is it? No match to any council members that were in here last night. There is a trace of Ice Kiwami's blood. He took his own life years ago, though, so it is Dan and Gatte. It doesn't match yeah. Henry's blood. He doesn't have a massive wound on him anyway. Dan and Gatte. So he was here last night. This corridor must be where Dan and Gatte escaped through. Okay. Things are just getting more and more interesting, huh? Alright, it's a shame he didn't live long enough for us to question him a bit more. And there's nothing else for us to discover here, right? Alright, so... Need to confirm Yuri's location. So, the crime to end all crimes. We got a lot of new information about this. Clean cuts. Okay. Henry, petals. I mean, Yuri Knight. There are petals, yeah. There's a blood trail. It abruptly ends at a wall. It matches his blood sample. A blood smear at the scene doesn't match any of the council members. It's from a gunshot. 
There's a demon inside the penthouse that's been shot in the head. It has perfect knife-like claws that are covered in blood. Was shot in the head with a Fukata round. The council members were killed by a perfect blade. The killer demon has perfect knife-like claws. Okay, and then we still have unsorted stuff. The, yep, mystery of dead killer demon. Shinji. Demonic crate. And there's apparently... Remote receiver, unknown suspect. Okay, so there's still one we haven't found. Carmelina fused flesh. Carmelina took some flesh and cried to judge and fused it with someone else. Yeah, he had flesh from dying grudge. Okay, so we got quite a few new things to follow up on. So, uh, I can't actually look at many things from here, but let's go to <clears throat> Witness's balcony. Because I suspect Witness is the one that possibly released the demon. Yeah, Witness, we got a couple of things to ask you. And then we got Carmelina, we have some updates with you. Alright, we got updates with just about everyone. Alright, Witness. Let's hang out again. Want to chat, Witness? I must warn you that I am not one for long conversations. The investigator is here. My plans. The gods, in esoteric ways. the gods tended to us and raised us. Maybe I can hope to have some insight into their brilliance by tending to a life myself. Recall, Destroyed Eden. I remember that you were a devoted fo follower of Destroyed Why Eden. He gallops through the, the universe, a true majesty. My unwavering devotion to him got through- got me through my dark times. He was a light I could follow. Do you want to talk about these dark times? They are behind me now. The old life is gone. Now I only concern myself with my holy work. Do not dwell on your past. Embrace the life ahead of you and let the gods shine upon it. I'll keep that in mind. I am enjoying our conversations, Lady Love Dies. There is a sensitive matter which we could discuss further. Alright. Of course not. Things happened while you were in exile, Lady Love Dies. The architect and I became close and we married. It didn't last yes, though. She is obsessed with a perfect island. There wasn't any room in her heart for me or the of gods. No. I've been reluctant to tell you until now, but I am worried about her. Her mind is not on the yeah. cosmos. I see. In what way? Do you believe that you should be rewarded for your craft? Uh, agreed, is there a reward? If you enable other people's success, maybe you can sympathize with the Architect Ooh, then. The investigator is she architects our islands, without her we have nothing. Our work is for the gods, they lifted us up and we must do the same for them. Personal reward is a sin that pushes us from their light. Hmm. I fear she has forgotten this. Thank you for confiding in me, Witness. Okay, so, yeah, that's- we got that same information from, uh, <clears throat> I think Crimson. So, your alibi. Carmelina's presence. Carmelina was in your apartment all last night, right? What about when you stepped out to take a call? I didn't see her on my balcony. I was over there. I stepped out using my sliding door. So if Carmelina had left by the front door, you wouldn't have seen her? I wouldn't. I also didn't hear the elevator, so if she did leave my apartment, she would have only been out here. Okay, so she probably went through the corridor. Did you hear the elevator every time I come to speak to you? This is a joke. Now that you present that question to me, I'm surprised to say that I didn't. I put it down to exhaustion. I haven't slept. Why are you asking? I'm working on a lead. Okay, checks. Paradise feels wrong. Why did you want Crimson to get the key to the second holy seal? What? I didn't. You're lying. I have testimony that you not only asked her to get the key, but that she gave you the key as well. That simply isn't true. I have almost nothing to do with Miss Acid. She's lying to you, Lady Love Dies. You are being played. Have you got the key? I didn't even know the second seal required a key. I don't have it. You're lying. I am not, Lady Love Dies. Miss Acid is tricking you. She is turning us against each other. Why? It's your job to find out. I mean, that's definitely true. I mean, I like Crimson, but I also don't 100% believe her. I have to take a quick swig of water. I've <clears throat> been recording for about an hour and a half now, so my throat is feeling it. Marriage. Were you and Carmelina married 25 years ago? Sure, no, we had fallen apart a few years before that. Why do you ask? Apparently she went into isolation for a year about 25 years ago. Sure, <clears throat> 
I remember that. I have no idea what she was doing. She likes to lose herself in her work. She said she was working on a project and didn't want to be disturbed. Was full isolation unusual? A little, but I didn't pay much attention. The syndicate's fall from grace was a bigger concern. Where did she isolate herself? She has always built herself little hideaways in the islands. Places she won't be disturbed. I don't know where it was. <clears throat> it could definitely be in these corridors that she made. You asked Crimson to get the key to the second holy seal from KHX. No, I... Witness, I'm losing my patience. By asking her to do that, and by her account, taking a copy from her, you're the prime suspect for who went through with it. I did nothing of the sort. You're denying all of it, or just going through the seal? All of it. I had nothing to do with Miss Acid's preposterous story or the second seal. No desire to cooperate at all? I can't cooperate with a fabrication. Alright. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? Nothing, Lady Love Dies. It is one of the council's secrets. <laughs> A god told me you went and carved off some flesh. What's up with that? Not your concern. I vehemently disagree. Fine. The islands die and I want to know why. Demons come to us and rot our triumphs. Do gods attract them? Does keeping one on the island make Devonic invasions more likely? Why carve his flesh? Seems like a sin. I needed to study it. You can feel the cosmos when you look at the flesh of one of our lords. He is linked to the stars. Is he a magnet? Sure. What did you find? Nothing. The holiness of a lord should never have been questioned. Can I verify this is true? I conducted the research in private. I don't like the sound of this witness. Hmm. Demon. Know anything about demons on the island? Demons? I don't. They're a blight on our holy work, corrupting our righteous home. The marshals exterminated them all after they came to the island. There shouldn't be any left. I found the hidden bunker you've been using to study a killer demon in. That is nonsense. No, it isn't. It has a blood vial lock coded to yours and Carmelino's blood vials. Care to explain? Don't play games. That is an old panic room that Carmelina installed on the island. I am not comfortable talking about the times I used to spend with her, but that was your, our own hideaway for a time. I don't know anything about illegal demonology studying in there. No demonology, just romanceology. What does that mean? I don't know, it sounded better in my head. <laughs> just being straight up, love dies. Alright, so now we probably want to go investigate Carmelina because... Well, Yuri's also right down here. Uh... Ah, oh, I didn't want to fall. Oh well, it's it's not that much of a sprint back up here. Yeah, I want to go to Yuri, and then we'll go check in on uh, Carmelina. And see what she has to say for herself as well, since it seems like her and Witness definitely had a little relationship going on, and possibly worked together on this. <clears throat> Uh, we can hang out again already? Got time to chat, Yuri? Can we make this the last time, freak? Have you ever been in love, Yuri? Love doesn't offer anything. Love constrains ambition. It blinds you to your goal. Uh... Love can make you understand more about yourself and others. I understand myself and others just fine. Some of us are rulers and the rest are meant to be ruled. The world is very simple, freak. You people confuse yourselves with love and affection. It dulls your senses and stops you from achieving excellence. I have a bad feeling about this. If you open your heart, you open your mind. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. So you're never gonna give us anything, huh? No matter how many times I hang out with you. Were you outside the council penthouse last night, Nonsense. Yuri? Of course I wasn't, freak. I found pink petals, which I suspect are from your hat, outside the penthouse. <laughs> I doubt that. So for the record, this is a complete denial? Yes, freak, it is. I won't stand up in court. It won't stand up in court anyway. We'll see. Alright. Demons. Know anything about demons on the island? The marshals killed them all. They should have killed Henry while they were at it. Okay. See through a million eyes. Maybe you reach the moon. Alright, so Carmelina now. And then we got some stuff with... A doom jazz? I imagine we're gonna ask everybody what they know about the demons on the island. That seems like a question we'll just... ...go through everyone with. So... That'll be interesting. But you, I have a vested interest in speaking to at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. 
Out. What do you want? Yeah, I want in, freak. Dumb jerk. Alright, let's hang out. Can I ask you something, Architect? Is its own reward. I want to give you something, Investigator. All this blood danger. That's right. An eye? It's the eye of a worshipper of Blood Dancer. It's been preserved and reformatted into a storage device. Perfection. The chronicles of Blood Dancer have been imprinted into it. By examining the crevices of the eye, you may learn about is the god. Blood Dancer calls multiple planet-wide genocides as he perfected his insane technology. There are always sacrifices for progress, Investigator. I don't know if that is true, Architect. It depends on your priorities, Investigator. A life lived purely for others denies your true self. A life lived in balance sees a glimpse of potential. I don't like... I don't agree with, like, causing genocide just to get new technology, though. A lack of balance hurts others and denies you of valuable experiences. I am the leader. That depends on your definition of valuable. Please, go and enjoy the island, Lady Love Dice. Through it, you may learn more about yourself. Thank you for your time, Architect. Get from Carmelina. Okay. So we got some stuff on you. Corridors. What if I said there were secret trans-dimensional corridors crisscrossing the yeah, island? I'd say that you've spent too long in the scorching sun. So you don't know anything about them. I have no idea what you're talking about. To be clear, you are denying crafting secret corridors and hiding a killer within them. Of course I am, that's totally unbelievable. I think you need a rest, Investigator. Crime doesn't rest, so nor do I. Let's see you explain this away in the trials. Explain what, a total fantasy? We'll see. Hmm. So, Fourth Holy Seal? What do you know about the Fourth Holy Seal? Nothing, Investigator, it is not my place to know. If no one knows how to get into the council building and the next island is already built with a new council building, how will the new council get into it? A good question. If the seals on the next island cannot be breached, we will rebuild the council building. The perfect next island al already sounds less than yeah, perfect. Perfection. perfection requires adaptability. We will adapt. Want to tell me what you were doing carving flesh from a god? How dare you, How dare you accuse me of a vile crime like that? This is the height of heresy. Crying Grudge true. said it himself. No such thing happened. I think it did. Then you will need some evidence. You are accusing the leader of the Syndicate of one of the worst crimes imaginable. Oh, glad to be back. Temporary leader. Mystery of the dead killer demon. Know anything about demons on the island? Dare you. Besides the one that resides with the, within the killer? Alleged killer. Nothing has been proven yet. He's still an alleged killer. Quite. The marshals did an exemplary job of wiping the demons out. It was not enough to stop the corruption, though. Ooh, new note. Your bunker. I've been in your Not bunker. It. Why was it coded only to witnesses' blood vial? No idea what you're talking about. It embarrasses me to say it, but it was a lover's retreat. I disliked the design as a bunker and dropped my plan for them. It's not unused. Is its own reward. Spending time there with witness felt illicit, exciting, but things didn't work out. I haven't been in there for years. So I saw in the logs I pulled from I it. So you definitely weren't thing. experimenting on a killer demon in there. Absolutely not. I beg your pardon? Investigator, can we discuss something of a delicate nature? Yeah. Probe? I have no idea what you're talking about. I wasn't truthful. Witness used that bunker for an illegal study of demons. He wanted to find out all he could for the sake of the island. Ever since the beginning of the Syndicate, there has been zero tolerance on demons. The misknowledge frightened him. He trapped a killer demon and experimented on it. I haven't set foot in there for years, since before he started. That's weird. Where did he get a killer demon? He trapped one. I don't know how. I kept his secret. He still means a lot to me. The killer demon would die when Island 24 ceases to exist. Henry's demon had already done irreparable damage to the island. This one wasn't going to do any more. Investigator is here. What about Witness? I put it out of my mind. We fell apart and each other's matters became private again. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, we got quite a lot of information this episode, and it seems like... A conspiracy crafted from the fabric of the island. Did Carmelina's hidden killer commit the crime to end all crimes? 
Yeah, so we have Carmelina's killer. We have Witness, definitely up to no good. We have Henry, but I don't think Henry's part of this. We also have the killer demon. So, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Paradise Killer, and I will see you next time.